Well, here we are. Done a little sketch there. Uh, I'm going to wet my paper. Um, it's the I'm the village idiot. If you want to help me to become a global idiot, then um, prescribe to my channel. Right, you could, if you wanted to, use a little brush to go around there. But I'm just going to go through it with this one. It, you can sort of, with these brushes, you can sort of chisel it and use that chiseled end to do that um, close-up stuff through there. Go straight through the um, wings, whatever they're called. What are they called? Wings. Windmills, the windy bits, straight through them. And then I'll go down through that bit there. I'll go through that bit. And that'll do me. In fact, let me just got too much water on there, I think. I'll pull that up a bit. Get a bit more back up at this top. I need it to stay wet for a while. There'll be plenty of water around there. There, let's try that. Right, just some it's dead easy sky this one. I'm just going blue. Any blue you've got, cobalt, ultramarine. Oh like that, that'll do. I've gone a darker blue. Not I haven't used a cerulean, but you can use a cerulean if you want. Be a perfectly sound. I just want a slightly darker than a cerulean. So that's why I used it this one, right? That bit there's white. So I'm gonna go around that. That's it. Boom, 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 boom. Down there. I'll go down to the bottom there. There we are, same this side. Bring it down there like that. Take it across. This is what's called a gradiated wash. So it starts off. All's I've real all you really do is just don't re-dip your brush. So you start off thick at the top, and if you don't re-dip your brush, it's gonna get thinner as you come down anyway. In fact, I could. Get one more layer across this top bit here now. Thicken it up even a, a little bit more. Let's come from that side. In general, go all the way across. Oh, that looks nice. Look at that. A few light, sort of lighter and darker bits. Looks slightly cloudy. That's happened by... I didn't even plan that. It's just an happy accident, in it? Right. I'm out of my coffee. Uh, Dry. In fact, yeah, I'm going to give it a half decent dry. wanted the bottom bit dry because that's what I'm going into right now that bottom bit I'm going to need now quite a lot of water I think let's dip in some water really watery thin coat paint so I've not washed that blue off my brush and I've just dabbed into it a tiny tiny bit of yellow and the tinsy Tinsy winciest, really tiny bit of burnt umber just to dull it a bit. Let's see what that looks like. So that's giving me that look. So you can only just see it, what's good, because this is miles away. I'm going to come straight through, look, straight through that other bit. Across there. Get ready with your chiselled edge, look, to there. Liketh, thateth, and then. I'll just have a little bit going through that bit there, just where it's coming through. And then I'm going to add a tiny bit more bomb tumber. Tiny bit more. And I'm going to stick in some uh, little edge rows and things. I'm just going to let me just have a little test. I don't want it too dry and I don't want it too wet. That's probably a tiny bit too wet. So I'm going to dry it. Give it a tiny little dry. 
but not much. I want it a bit wet. Let's try that. Go a tiny bit there. Sort of triangle. Sort of quite diagonal. Because then it makes the hills look like they're not too steep. So these sort of things, they're not dead steep hills. So this, by going quite diagonal, like that there, that's a, an upward bit of the hill. But I'll go quite diagonal. If you go sort of more straight up, then you're making it look like it's steeper than what it would be. Let's have another one. About there, look at that, that's dispersing a little bit, but not too much. And then we'll have something to bat. There, that's lovely. Lovely, jubbly, you know what? We'll dry that so it don't mess me about. Yeah, if you're not sure, like I did a tiny bit there, it's dispersed a bit. That looks like a like a big block of trees, miles away, that could be a big block of trees. Um, but because it dispersed a bit, I stopped straight away and dried it a bit, so always be aware. Try a little bit. If it's not doing what you want, don't just carry on. That's what I'm saying. There, now, this next bit is a bit closer. Can you just see that line I've drew in? Right, that's where it's a bit closer. So... Closer, I'm gonna have more yellow into this. What give me more of a greenish colour? What'll make this seem closer? I'm still using a really thin paint. Let me get me reading glasses on for this bit because I can't only just see that line. That's better. Right, so this wants to be quite thin, quite a thin paint. Maybe it's even a tad thinner than that. So I've just dabbed back into a bit more water just to thin it. Tiny bit more. There. Oh, that's good. There we are. And that, just that lighter green glaze over there. Just bringing this whole bit a tiny bit closer, you see. Look. There. I'm just using chisel corner of my brush to get that accuracy. It won't really matter if I'd gone down below there. It won't have mattered because I'll have a thicker paint on there. Right, that's that. Um, only oh, some little bushy things on top of that. I wonder if I could have a little. No, I'm not. I was wondering whether to put a little thing through it like them through there, but because that's closer, them fields are going to be bigger, so I'm not going to do. I might give it a little dry because there's some little bushes at the top of here, and I don't want them running into that colour, so I'll have another little dry. Yeah, this is more, this is them miles away edge rows. There's a big edge row across the top of here. So that's what I'm putting in there. So, it's closer up. I'm going to add a bit more um, bont umber into it just to distinguish it from the bit I just did. So, I'm quite a sort of dull, mucky green. That's what I'm after. I'm get some bont umber in, and that'll give me that. If it's not quite mucking up, a bit of red or duller green as well. So I'm going into the green, what I'd already got mixed. And I'm going to mix in a lot of water with it. Because I want it a weak mix. Right, if I want to test it, I've got a piece of paper at the side on me to test it on. There. So that's how I test it. It looks okay to me. So now, I'll just come in. Let's <coughs> pop it in. See how this edge is bigger than them edges in the distance. That's what I want. There we are. Uh, I'm thinking probably that one. That edge has gone down. Oh no, sorry, that one's joining onto that, isn't it? Not that. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I am tempted. 
Let's do it. Let's have a little edge row come in this way as well then. So it's bigger. It's going to be bigger than that one you see because it's closer and more cover in it there. So that's okay. Left a few little gaps and things. Don't forget that, like to me, that looks a little bit too strong a colour, but that's going to dry lighter than that. So don't panic. It'll be okay. And well, if it's dried and it's still a bit much, you can go back on with a damp, clean brush, re wet it, and then just dab it with a tissue if it's a bit too much. So just remember things are always going to dry a bit more faded than what they look now. Right. Next thing you need to do is a sip of your coffee. Don't forget I'm sponsored by every single brand of coffee and tea and water. Make sure your water's nice and wet when you're putting it on. Use the wet stuff. That dryish water. Make sure your water's moist. Mm. Right, let's say a look now. What shall we do now? Right, there's some creamy colour. There's a lot of creamy colour in here. So I'm going to give me a brush and wash now and mix up a creamy colour. Uh, I haven't got none. I've not got no yellow ochre. But yellow ochre or raw umber, I've got neither, will be brilliant for this. I'm mixing lemon yellow and light red. And it's giving me that, basically, that colour. Right, so... Let's have a look. Let's blob some in there like that. All the way across there. There's a bit sort of there. And he did, 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 did a bit there. This is all, in fact, I don't really need to look where the bits are. I can bang these in anyway. There's just bits of that like grass where the sun's sort of wrecked it a bit. And add a tiny bit of extra water in for this bit here. Oh, I'll tell you what I should have done. Forgot to do it. Um, this puddle here, I should have put some uh, some light blue in for that while I was doing my sky. So I'm going to have a reflection at sky in there. Uh, this side, let's have some bits of this grass in this side and all. On my reference photo, there isn't any, but I just think it'll match better with a bit of similar stuff on each side in it. Right, so that's that. Um, I think what I'm going to do now is add a tiny bit of blue into that to get a green colour. There. Right, so, so let's. Let's have a go with that. Some of this will all diffuse into each other. That's good. It's always. That's the old point of. Water colour, that diffusion, that's what always looks good. Some bits there, look. There we are, look, see there where it's diffusing. So, you, so I'm going to end up with some soft edges and some hard edges. And hopefully, when I finish the whole process, I'm hoping that I'm going to end up with some little white, tiny little white gaps and stuff as well. Because I always like to see a bit of white and that looks like where the sun's really eating it sort of thing that's what it looks like to me anyway dee, 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 dee. there we are these grasses coming in here there's some grasses here side of this puddle here just a few little bits of grasses in there oh my god let's get some back in here this side dee, 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 dee. let me hope to hear there's some there look Nice. See how this brush gives me like a nice grassy effect. Look at that. And then as I get further away, it's less of that grassy effect because the grasses appears to be shorter as it gets further away. It isn't shorter, it just appears that way because it's further away, isn't it? So don't forget to do that. Right. There we are. That's it, do a bit of a bit of that as we get further away. Then it looks further away in it. There. And then less of that as you come down there. Well and uh, nearly 
nearly there, a bit more on here, and then I'm going to do a full glaze of a top of all this. I'm going to dry all this and do a full glaze on top of it all, doing just basically the same thing again, and that'll make that look close up. Uh, I think I'll dry that and then pop me. I might as well pop my windmill in and, and pop that in. Dry this so I can rest my hand on it. Detailing brush. Mm. Nearly ran call me coffee. Right, so my windmill's like a sort of greyish colour, really. Um, although, you know what? It is a greyish colour. In my photo and in my sketch, what I did from my photo of. But, you know what? To make it mix better, I think what I'm going to do. It's still more of a creamish colour, just because this is all cream, and I ain't got to do it the same colour as what's on the thing. On the thing, these bricks, on the actual place where this would talk, these bricks are grey. But I think this is going to sit nicer in this painting if I halter that colour and make it to a more creamy colour like that. That's going to look better. Now let's get some Montumber, a bit of Montumber, stick that into that creamy colour there, and then sun's coming in this way, so I'm going to have my Montumber down that side there, liketh thateth, and under there, then wash my brush, come back into that creamish colour, and soften in, like that look. So I'm softening the one colour into the t'other, like that. That's nice. And then wash my brush completely. And just soften the lot in. That's nice. I'm happy with that. Right. Uh, let me get that a quick dry. top bit's white so I'm going to mix a sort of bluey grey colour from my shadow up there and that should look good let's have a look let's try this that's nice I need it probably a bit darker than my sky that's going to dry lighter than it is hopefully I've gone dark enough at that hopefully um, Tiny little brush, pop in the uh, windows, I think. Pop my windows in. Oh, my door, that's wet down there, so I can't pop my door in yet. I can pop my windows in. There, I'll pop my door in in a bit. Right, let's do another full layer on top of here. Uh, another full glaze on top of there. This needs to look closer. So we've got to have another full glaze on top of here to bring this in closer. Right, so I think my cream colour, I think what I'm going to do is mix my lemon yellow with some Bond Umber this time to give me a stronger colour. And then I'm going to leave gaps so my other colour glows through and hopefully I'll still have some of them white bits glowing through. See that arts glowing through? Nice. I need to. I'm gonna to need to check to make sure that that looks closer, and it does. 
Right, so some bits in here, isn't there? This cream colour, so we'll stick them in. There are little bits there. Bits in here. Right, I just want to water that down and just pop in a bit more in my path. Oh, wow. There, that's nice. There, I'll tell you what you can, what I could do. Get me tiny ickle brush and get some stronger bomb tumber and just go around that puddle where you wet it's the sand, it goes darker because it turns to mud. So I could have a bit of mud in there and come back to that lighter colour and just blend it across like that. Look, bit of mud. It's always going to be muddier where there's a puddle. Some water alone and soften that all in there. There, that's quite nice. Dee, 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 dee. Oh, while I've got that little brush, I'll tell you what else I'll do. I'll just mix up a bit, a uh, bit more green. Just add a bit of extra green in there and then a real dark green, I think. Add a bit of real dark green in there, just towards the bottom bit. So. That's just tied to my grass. Just do that while I've got that ickle brush. There, that's that. So I think I've done with that little brush now. Right, uh, let's get back to, oh yeah, that cream color. Oh, that's a lovely color that is. Look at that. A bit same again in a minute. When I put my green in, these colors will run together a little bit and that'll be sand. Right, so now, I'm adding a lot more yellow to that same cream colour and then I'm adding some blue to it. Oh, how lovely. That's getting me a dark green. So I look at that. Oh, that's nice. These green edges, look. Just dipped into some yellow at that, just to alter it a bit as I'm moving around. Back into some more of that dark. I want some dark up there. Let's go back into a bit more that creamy yellow colour. There we are. And then a mixture of the two to alter it again. So I've just varied my green colour as I've moved around. But see how that's stronger. I need that to throw that back. So in fact, I'm going to get a really dark green. Really, really dark green. Just mix it up now. Take a bit of red in it just to dull it. Oh, that's lovely. And I'm just going to pop in some really dark green just on some of these bits just to throw this other stuff right back. So I blend some of that in. And just chuck it in randomly. Not the same up here. De -de 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 -de. Sort of still got this sort of slight grassy effect, but I'm trying to make it look shorter as I've gone up there. Probably not done very well there. It probably looks a bit long. Yeah, well, it'll have to do. De -de 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 -de. So try and make your grass look shorter as you further back. Mine don't really, but. Sure. There, maybe I'll make it even longer down here to compensate. Right, dip that colour now into some yellow, just to blend, and blending back in with some yellow now. There, that's nice. Just to alter stuff a bit down into here where it meets the mud and the sand. You can have a lot more yellow in this on this side. So it seems to be quite a bit on that side. There, a bit more, a bit more yellow. There, that's nice. And I've still got loads of them little light, light white speckles glowing through. So that's good. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll just use my little brush to do it. Um, in fact, let's wet it first. This puddle here. Dee, 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 dee. Not too much water in that bottom bit. Right, this puddle here. 
Let's pop it in. There. Notice how I've done it stronger there than up there. That's because that's how it gets lighter there, further away, darker it's come closer, so I've done the same in my puddle. Uh, just dab a bit of that excess water out though. And I'll have some little white bits in, where there's bits of light hitting it and that as well. Right, we're nearly done. Nearly done. Let's say look, let's get that whole thing one last blast with dryer, and then I'll put me uh, wings in and that. mix of colour for these wings so I've gone into that uh, I've actually gone into a light green colour but I've added light red and that should pull all the green out I think it has done so that's just light red then you know what I'm gonna add some uh, Payne's grey so I want a sort of greyish a sort of greyish creamish colour on the uh, actual real thing what this is painted from it's just grey but again I'm just looking at it and I'm thinking because I've got a lot of these cream colours it's going to suit the picture more if it's cream so I ain't got to paint the same as what's in my photo what I've took and I've done another sketch of the photo and on my other sketch of the photo I've stuck to the original colours but this one I thought no let's not let's alter it a bit so don't forget the uh, world your lobster and you can alter stuff you don't want to paint everything exactly as it is in nature there this by the way this windmill if you imagine that straight on right that's what length it is it's not it's at that angle so this one here I've painted slightly shorter than that one there because that one's at that angle whereas that one's more at that angle so that's why this one Looks slightly longer than this one so just think do you know what I mean so if that's flat on say like that there if that's flat on it's like that it's not it's like that because it's facing that way it's not facing straight to me so I've tried to put that into me picture so really all I'm doing now is just going over these pencil lines the pencil lines might have been enough but I think I'll just strengthen it up a bit and then it's watercolour in it, not a pencil sketch then as well. See? There's method in my madness. Dee, dee, dee. Talking about madness. Right. I'm thinking about some of these, some sayings, what people say. What don't really make sense. Right. Have you ever heard the saying, live each day as though it's your last? Don't do that. Do not do it. If I did that, if I thought that today was my last day, I'd probably spend the entire day eating. If I lived each day as though, as though it were my last, I promise you I'd be like 50 stone. I'd have either had an heart attack or exploded. So that saying is ridiculous. Don't do it. 90% well no, more than 90%, percent of your days aren't going to be your last. So that last one, you probably will wish that you'd lived it as though it's your last. But all the others, you'll be glad that you didn't. Because if you're like me, you put weight on. Or maybe you do something else crazy. I don't really know. Right. Where's my tiniest ickle brush? I can't find it, so I'll just use this one. It'll be all right. I need a B and a D. B. <whistles> D. Bertie D. Right, I also need a couple of bots called Peter and Paul. 
out looking for worms. They are out looking for worms to take back to the nests and uh, feed Gladys and Hilda. That's their uh, wives and they've got kids and all, apparently. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. Make a story up while you're painting, innit? Right. That's it. Done. See you on the beach. Eat.